Hi guys, this is uh, Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video is going to consider compound interest, or more importantly, a compound interest calculation. So once again, let's just reflect on our formula, our general formula for compound interest. It says that the future value of an investment, where the investment is PV, that the future value is simply equal to the principal value times 1 plus I over N, raised to the power of n times t, where, where I suppose we have fv represents the future value of the investment, okay. pv represents the principal, the principal, the principal value, how much was put in at time zero, uh, n represents the number of compoundings, that is whether it's annual whether it's quarterly, whether it's monthly, or whether it's semi-annually, okay? And T represents the number of years that the investment is being made for, so the number of years, okay? So let's look at a particular example. Okay, so let's say, uh, let's say 1,200 euros is invested, okay? Is invested in an account, okay? Uh, for let's say four years, okay? okay, for four years, okay. What is the future value? Let's say what is the future value of the investment of the investment okay. if interest is applied at let's say 7.5% and compounded and compounded and let's say it's compounded monthly okay so from our parameters perspective we have four values that we need to get out of this formula okay uh, so let's just write down our values so we have the future value the principal value we have the number of compoundings, uh, we have T, and I suppose we have I, the interest rate. We didn't put the interest rate up here, so let's just say I is the interest, the interest rate. Okay. So in our scenario here, we know that 1,200 euros is invested in an account, so the principal value must be 1,200. Okay. We, it's invested in the account for four years, uh, so T is equal to four. And we've been asked, what is the future value? So we don't know what the future value is, so we have to calculate the future value. But we're being asked, what is the future value of the investment if interest is applied at 7.5%? So this is 7.5%, which I suppose is equivalent to 0 0.075 as a decimal. And compounding happens monthly, okay? So we know that n is equal to 12. Okay, so we have all of our parameters bar the future value, we don't know. So let's take everything and put it into our formula. Okay, so we end up with the future value, which is equal to the principal value times 1 plus i over n raised to the power of n times t. Substituting everything in, we end up with the future value is equal to, well, the principal is 1200 times 1 plus i is 0 0.075 which is divided by n, which is divided by 12, and that needs to be raised to the power of n, which is 12 times t, which is, which is, which is 4, okay? So let's just do this in stages. Uh, let's do the division of the fraction here. So we have 0 0.075 divided by 12, gives us a value of 0 0.00625. So this becomes the future value is equal to 1,200, times 1 plus 0 0.00625 raised to the power of, well, four, 12 times 4 is 48, okay? Adding the 1 onto the decimal, that gives us the future value is equal to 1200 times 1.00625 raised to the power of 48. And let's do this small piece Let's do this small calculation here uh, inside uh, the brackets. Let's do this uh, 1.00625 raised to the power of 48, first of all. Okay. So we have 
1.00625 raised to the power of 48 it gives us the value of 1.34859951. Okay, so we're not going to carry all them decimals around with us, so let's just say that the future value is equal to 1200 times 1. Point, let's say 349 to, to three decimal places. Okay, and that gives us a future value is equal to, well, we have 1200 multiply by 1.349 which gives us a value of 1618 euros and 80 cent now just be careful here there is some rounding going on so this isn't exact as a future value uh, but for the purposes of this example uh, we can see that to calculate the future value of a particular investment we need to know the principal value we need to know the interest rate we need to know how many compoundings is happening in a period of time and we need to know t the number of years that the investment has been invested for uh, okay go ahead guys uh, this was jonathan lambert with the mathematics development and support service at the national college of ireland uh, and i hope these videos uh, were helpful okay thank you